Well, hey guys, um, I got another message. Um, it's kind of exciting. I'm not gonna say I know what it means, so, you know, I'm not gonna say that it's the rapture or anything like that, but um, I think we are getting very close to the rapture and I'm very excited about it. Um, and uh, also, I wanna keep in mind, guys, when the Lord speaks, you know, and he gives dates or anything like that and calendars and all that stuff, you have to remember that not all meets the eye, like he says, you know, we don't know his timeline. We don't know his dates, his calendar, the time zones. There, there's so many things. There's so many different calendars. And then, you know, the enemy has taken signs in the heaven and made that bad, you know, like um, astrology and stuff. So, there are things in the Bible pointing out signs in the heaven. So just keep that in mind, you know, when I read this to you. Um, but I prayed about it. I asked for confirmations and wasn't in front of my Bible again, guys. And for all the ones who think that I could make this stuff up or, you know, do these words on my own, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's very funny because I don't. I don't know enough. So people ask me all the time. They're like, well, what does the scripture mean? I don't know. <laughs> I'm literally just obedient. And I hear it in my head. And I just say what Jesus speaks to me. It's childlike faith. And <clears throat> do not lean on your own understanding. You always lean on the Holy Spirit and ask him to show you. Um, and I claim that Jesus Christ came to earth as a man in the flesh died for us on the cross and rose three days later. Okay. People always like to call me when I'm videoing. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so he gave me Mark 411 and he said to them, to you, it has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but to those who are outside, all things come in parables. Colossians 1 7, as you also learned from Ephraphas, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf. Second Thessalonians 2 8. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Hebrews 4 5. And again in this place, they shall not enter my rest. Okay, and here's the message. My child, Purim, Purim. Oh, the wedding feast, how I can't wait to see my bride. <laughs> that makes me smile. The angels hear them singing, Emmanuel, peace on earth to the glory in the highest. Trains, trains, more trains coming. Chicago, New Mexico, Australia, Colorado, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Canada. You will see fire. France, France, the wages will go up. Not sure what he means by wages, but it's what I heard. Calendar, oh my calendar, no one knows my day. Is it the same? Have you seen the signs? Are you watching? Did you see the lights and signs in heaven? They mean something. Keep watching. It's all my design. My wise virgins, oh, how I love that your lamps are full. The end is near and my door is closing. Pay attention to dates, not all meets the eye. Listen to my prophets, they speak truth. Their obedience is the key. They give up everything for me. I teach them my plans from the beginning. Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, and Leo, are you awake yet? I have no idea what that means, but I'm sure my people out there that does the signs in the heavens will know. Signs in the heaven. <clears throat> no one knows my day or my hour. My words are true, so why do you still deny me? My harvest is ripe and my first fruits have been sorted. Are you ready for my arrival? My innocence, oh, how your heart is so pure. Do not be deceived by the enemy. He twists my words and he lies to you. The, I got a hair, <laughs> sorry. The harvest of souls is a deception. Do not believe I am not coming. Not every word is spoken from me. 
Did I give authority to speak? Did I put my words in their mouth? Test the spirits. They come on their own authority and lies from the enemy. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. I shed my blood on the cross for you. I died for you. Do you believe? Confess your sins to me and I will forgive you. Pray to me without ceasing. The Holy Spirit will lead you to truths. And then he gave me Leviticus 3, 8. And he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and kill it before the tabernacle of meeting. And Aaron's sons shall sprinkle its blood all around the altar. Job 4.14 Fear came upon me and trembling, which made all my bones shake. Genesis 21.8 So the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast on the same day that Isaac was weaned. Matthew twenty five eleven. Afterward, the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Oh, that's scary. Mark 3, 6. Then the Pharisees went out and immediately plotted with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. Isaiah 9, 11. Therefore, the Lord shall set up the adversaries of resin against him and spur his enemies on. 1 Peter 2.11 Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Leviticus 4.11 But the bull's hide and all its flesh with its head and legs, its entrails, and awful, or awful. I don't know how to say that, but okay. Here's another message. Um, am I your bread of life? Am I your living water? Do you believe I am your deliverer? Why don't you come to me when you are weary and I will comfort you and give you rest? I love you, my child, but my door is closing. Look at the moon and the stars and you will know when I am coming. I left you all the signs in my words. In my word, I am your rescuer, your redeemer, your deliverer, your Adonai, and I have spoken. And then he gave me Malachi 1.4. Even though Edom has said, we have been impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus says the Lord of hosts, they may build, but I will throw down. They shall be called the territory of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord will have indignation forever. You offer defiled food on my altar, but say, in what way have we defiled you by saying the table of the Lord is contemptible? Esther 5.8. I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my request, then let the king and Hanan come to the banquet which I will prepare for them. And tomorrow I was due as the king said. I have, and here's another message, I have revealed my plans to my prophets. Take heed to these warnings. Jeremiah 1 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I put my words in your mouth. Esther 4 13. And Mordecai told them to answer Esther, Do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. John 6 11. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to the disciples, and the disciples to those sitting down, and likewise of the fish, as much as they wanted. Another message, preach the gospel to all the nations and keep your lamps full of oil. I am coming. I declare this decree. Matthew 25, 8. And the foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. Leviticus 1, 9. But he shall wash its entrails and his legs with water. And the priest shall burn all the altar as a burnt sacrifice and offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. Esther 5, 6. At the banquet of wine, the king said to Esther, what is your petition? It shall be granted you. What is your request? Up to half the kingdom, it shall be done. Esther 7, 8. When the king returned home, the palace garden to the place of the banquet of wine, Haman had had fallen across the couch where Esther was. Then the king said, Will he also assault the queen while I'm in the house? As the word left the king's mouth, they covered him in space. Luke 9, 4, Whatever house you enter, stay there, and from there depart. Deuteronomy 7, 4, For they will turn your sons away from following me to serve other gods, so the anger of the Lord will be aroused against you and destroy you suddenly. 1 Thessalonians 3, 5, For this reason, when I could no longer endure it, I sent to know your faith. Let 
lest by some means a tempter had tempted you and the labor might be in vain. Going to run out of time, guys. Trust in Jesus. He loves you. Repent from your sins. Confess them and he'll forgive you. Bye.